everybody. This is Diana from So Very Crafty, and we are here today to make this super simple beginner fold over clutch. It is a very easy handbag project to make for the beginner. It has leather accents and a zipper at the top that is a super easy install for anybody uh, who's just learning how to do zippers. The zipper tabs make sure that we have a nice flat top and there's no zipper in the seam allowance. This is a fun little project. It's great for day to day. I hope you enjoy it. If you do, give me a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, ding that bell for notifications, and give this project a try. And if you want more sewing and crafting tutorials, head over to www.soverycrafty.com and there are tons and tons of uh, sewing and crafting tutorials that you won't find here on the YouTube channel. So I urge you to give this little gem a try. It's really a fun one. You can upcycle your jeans for this one and add some little remnant uh, leather pieces you can get at a craft store and it comes out perfect every time. So let's get started on how to make this super simple beginner fold over clutch. So how do we make this beginner fold over clutch bag? It is a very simple process. We're going to use a little bit different uh, materials here today at So Very Crafty because we're going to use a little bit of leather. But you could use faux leather if you want. Now you can get scrap leather like this at a craft store like Michael's. They come in a bag of just scrap leather pieces. And that's where I got these. Um, so you don't have to go out and buy a whole bunch of leather and you don't have to be an expert at sewing leather to be able to add these little leather accents to this bag. So today, in order to put this bag together, we have just a couple of pieces of fabric, a zipper, a little bit of leather or faux leather, whichever you like, and that's all there is to making this particular project. So our measurements today are scrap faux leather or leather, this happens to be real leather. Uh, and the way I measured these was the sides of my triangles are four inches. And then that makes my length of my crossways about six inches. So I have four pieces of those. Then I have some denim, and you can use an old pair of jeans for this. And if you have an old pair of jeans, I would recommend that. In fact, when I did the prototype of this project, that's exactly what I used was an old pair of jeans. And all you need to do is cut out a seven and a half inch by 13 inch piece, two pieces of denim that have those measurements and that's going to be the bottom of our bag. And for the top of our bag I've used some home decorator weight fabric that is six and a half by 13 inches but you could use quilting cotton. But I would recommend that if you use quilting cotton for the top part of your bag, that you use some interfacing like SF-101 to give it a little bit of structure. Uh, I'm not gonna use interfacing today for this project because the home decorator weight fabric has enough structure for what I need for it to do. Then I'm going to have some lining fabric that's going to measure 13 inches across by 14 inches long. And finally, uh, we're going to have a zipper. Now this zipper is obviously too long for our project today. 
we really just need a 12 inch zipper but I'm just going to cut this zipper and shorten it to the length that I need. And I'm going to use some zipper tabs. And these zipper tabs are super simple to install. You're just going to cut out two pieces of fabric uh, of your outer fabric on the top, not the denim that measures two inches by three and a half inches. And I'll show you how to make those zipper tabs so that uh, we can um, have a nice finished top on our bag when we're done. So that's all we need for this project today. So let's start out with what we need. Now we're gonna take our, fab our leather corners and we're just gonna place them in the bottom corners of our denim on all four corners. Just like that. And that just gives it a little bit of uh, pizzazz to our bag today. And I'm going to use some wonder clips because if we use pins, then the pins will show on our bag and we don't want to have the pins show. So we're just going to use some of our wonder clips. And if you don't have any wonder clips, I'll put a link into the uh, description section of the video on where you can get some of these. But we're just going to put a couple of clips on here to keep this sturdy. And we're going to do that to all of our corners. Now you can use any color leather that you like. This is what I had on hand. When I did the prototype, I had a dark brown, uh, which I actually preferred a little bit better than this. But um, this is what I had, so I thought I would use it today. So now that we have our leather on here, we're just going to head over to the sewing machine and we are gonna stitch a line right across the corner of our corners. We don't need to worry about the sides uh, or the bottom because that's going to be stitched in when we finish up our bag. For now, we just need to stitch across the corners. And we are going to use a leather needle for this. Now, if you use faux leather or you don't use anything at all, it's up to you. Uh, then you don't have to worry about putting a leather needle on your machine. But uh, I'm using leather today, so I'm going to have a leather needle that's on my machine just to stitch right across these corners. So let's go over to the sewing machine and see how that works. Here we are at the sewing machine, and I have my leather needle on my machine, and I'm just going to stitch across these corners. And I'm going to use about an eighth inch seam allowance. Thank you. 
Now you can see how that looks on there. That leather needle goes through that leather very nicely. And this is on a home sewing machine, so you should be able to do that too. So I'm just gonna stitch up these other corners and we'll go on and move on to our next step. Now we're back at the workstation and we have finished stitching on our corners. Now it's time to stitch on the top part of our bag. So we're just going to place our decorator weight fabric, or if you are using quilting cotton, we're going to place that right sides together on our pieces with the leather on them. And we're going to head over to the sewing machine and we are going to stitch a one quarter inch seam allowance right across this 13 inch length. And we're going to turn it right sides up and we're just going to top stitch along the seam for a nice professional look. Now the one thing that I've done uh, while I was at the sewing machine is I switched out my leather needle for a denim needle. So if you're using denim you're going to want to use a denim needle because it will really go through this denim very very nicely. Uh, otherwise, I think you'll have some problems. So if you're using denim, make sure to see, to see that you use a denim needle for this. So I'm just going to head over to the sewing machine and we are going to stitch like butter right through these two seams. So we're back at the sewing machine and we have our denim needle installed on our machine. Now you could pin or clip this if you like, but it's not very long. And so I'm just going to uh, hold it straight and stitch along the edge using my one quarter inch seam. Now you can see that that uh, denim needle works very nicely. And now I want to top stitch right along this seam. Now I'm just going to top stitch along the top here for a nice finished look. There we have it and I'm going to repeat this process for my other piece. Okay so now we have added the top part of our bag to the bottom part and it's now time for us to add our zipper tabs. The first thing that we need to do though before we add our zipper tabs is we need to shorten this zipper. Now most of you will be using a nylon zipper and a nylon zipper is very easy to cut through. This looks like a metal zipper, and it kind of is, but it's really made out of a composite material. I'm going to shorten this zipper from the length that it is to about 11 and a half inches. and I'm just going to cut it. And that's pretty simple. Now I'm going to make my zipper tabs. And the way that I'm going to do that is I'm going to take these 
two pieces and I'm going to fold the edges into the center and then I'm going to fold them again and I'm just going to place these on the end of my zipper. And I'm not worried about the raw edges because we're going to cut those off and we are going to um, sew those into the bag so we don't need to worry about the raw edges on the side. I'm going to do the same thing for the other zipper tab. Is I'm just going to fold these raw edges into the center, fold them in, in half, and then place it at the bottom of my zipper. I'm going to head over to the sewing machine and I'm just going to stitch right across here to secure these zipper tabs and then we're going to come back and we are going to install this zipper into this bag and uh, move on uh, to finishing up our project. Okay, so now we're back and we've added our zipper tabs. We're just going to take our scissors and we are going to cut our zipper tabs even with our zipper. And try to be careful not to cut the zipper. And now we have nice zipper tabs for our zipper and we can move on to our next step. We're going to take our outer bag and place it right sides up on our workstation. We're going to take our zipper and place it right sides down on our workstation. Then we're going to take one of our lining pieces and place it right sides down on our workstation. And of course I'm using a, a Kona cotton for my lining because I like it, as many of you who follow So Very Crafty know that I use Kona cotton for a lot of things. Um, I'm going to take some clips here and I'm going to clip the top of my zipper. You can use pins, of course. Uh, that'll work just fine. And you'll notice that our zipper does not go all the way to the end of our project. So we do want to make sure that it's in the center. I'm just going to eyeball this and hope that we're close to the center here. Um, but you can measure it out if you want. And you can put as many clips or pins in this as you want to. It's completely up to you. Now we're going to head over to the sewing machine and we are just going to stitch all the way across our zipper and the top of our bag. And we're going to come back and move on to our next step. Here we are back at our sewing machine. And I'm just going to stitch Normally, you would use a zipper foot for this, but I just keep my quarter inch foot on my machine all the time, so I'm just going to use that. And I'm going to stitch this zipper on. Make sure your zipper pull is out of the way, otherwise you'll break your needle. Now we have the first side of now we have the first side of our zipper stitched to our bag. 
So let's go on uh, over to the workstation and we'll add the second half of our zipper and move on to our uh, finishing up our project. Okay, so now we have our zipper installed on one side. Now it's time to install it on the other side. We are going to do exactly the same thing. We are going to place our outer fabric right sides up. We are gonna place our zipper right sides down. In the center, let's line up these raw edges Place our other lining piece right sides down, add some clips, and we're just going to stitch just exactly the same way that we did when we stitched the other side of our zipper. Only this time, we're going to open up our zipper and we're going to top stitch on both sides so that our lining will stay intact and it will not clog up our zipper when we're trying to open and close it. So I'm going to head over to the sewing machine and I'm just going to install this other side of our zipper and top stitch and we'll be back to work on our next step. Okay, so we have finished our zipper. We have top stitched both sides, and now it's time for us to finish our bag. And what we're going to do now is we are going to take our two outer pieces and we are going to place them right sides together. We're going to take our two lining pieces and we're going to place those right sides together. And we are going to either pin or clip whichever you prefer. I'm just going to use some clips here. Let's make sure that we're lined up and that our corners are lined up. And we are going to stitch all the way around our bag using a one quarter inch seam allowance. But we're going to leave an opening here at the bottom of our lining. And I'm just going to put some clips here and we're going to leave an opening here at the bottom. The other thing that's really important in this stage is we need to make sure that our zipper is open. Because if our zipper is not open, we will not be able to turn this bag right sides out. And now you will notice that our zipper tabs, the reason that they are not all the way to the edge is so that we can use our one quarter inch seam allowance to go all the way around and our zipper tabs don't get caught in the seam. So we're going to go back over to the sewing machine and we're going to stitch all the way around this bag using a one quarter inch seam allowance. Here we are back at the sewing machine and I'm going to start sewing this bag together at the bottom where I plan on finishing. 
and I'm going to use a one quarter inch seam allowance. I'm gonna start and I'm going to back stitch a little bit. And then I'm just going to stitch all the way around the bag. Remember when you come to the corner, stop with your needle down, lift up, pivot your fabric, and start again. Okay, so that's all there is to stitching around this bag. And now let's go finish up. Now we have finished stitching our bag. We have our opening in our corner. I'm just going to snip off my corners here close to the seam allowance, but making sure that I don't snip through the seam allowance so that I can get some crisp corners here. And I'm going to reach in through the opening in the lining and through the open zipper and I'm going to pull this bag right sides out. Now all we need to do is stitch up our opening and our lining and you can do that either on your machine or using ladder stitch. It's completely up to you. I'm not going to do it on the video but I'm just going to use my machine to stitch this lining today. You're going to stuff your lining into your bag. Pull out these leather corners. They're a little fidgety because it's stiff, but it gives it a nice little professional look to have these uh, leather corners on there. And if you use faux leather, it's a little uh, less stiff so you know how you don't have to worry about really pushing them out so much. Push your lining in. Zip up your zipper. And as you can see, your zipper tabs prevent you from putting that zipper in the seam. So you have a nice straight top on your zipper. Fill it up, fold it over, and you have a nice little fold over clutch that you can take for every day. This is a fun little project, super simple to make. It doesn't take much time at all. You don't even need to put the leather on if you don't want to. I just thought it was a nice touch, so I added it to mine, but it's completely up to you. I love this little project. It's super simple. Anybody with beginner sewing skills can make this project, so I urge you to give it a try. And if you like this project, give me a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, ding that bell for notifications. And if you want more sewing and crafting tutorials, head over to www.soverycrafty.com 
for loads of sewing and crafting tutorials that you won't find here on the YouTube channel. So that's it for today. I hope you enjoyed this little fold over clutch with the leather accents. It was a fun one. Um, and I will see you guys next time here at So Very Crafty when we uh, come up with a new project for you in our next video. Thank you and bye.